Hello, my name is Liam and welcome to my kitchen. Today we shall make spaghetti carbonara. For this, we're going to need half a pound of spaghetti, six slices of bacon, two eggs, half a cup of grated parmesan cheese, and half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Well, shall we? Like all other pasta recipes, we start, of course, by boiling the water. In the meantime, we have some prep work to do because we have to grate the Parmesan cheese. I like to just grate my cheese directly into a measuring cup because that way I'll know when I'm done, right? Now Parmesan you want to grate on the lower setting, finer grain side of the grater, rather than the uh, one you use for the mozzarella, right? Okay. Now that we have our half a cup of Parmesan cheese, I'm going to start preparing the bacon. Now we're going to want to cut these strips of bacon six of them in all, into little itty bitty pieces. They're more manageable. Now you just fry the bacon as you normally would in a skillet. Over medium heat, preferably. And then add half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper to the bacon for a little extra zest. <laughs> Makes the dish a whole lot better. If you're down on your dough that week, you can always steal a little bit from the pizzeria down the street. They usually get that. Now you don't want to cook your bacon too long. You just want it to be cooked, obviously. And um, when cooking bacon, you always want to wash your hands after handling it because raw pork and raw chicken can carry salmonella. But you need that. Drain it over some paper towels. Actually helps. To get some of the grease out of there. You don't want too much grease in your life, you know. Cholesterol and whatnot. With the grease is left on the pan, you, you generally want to pour it into a container so that it doesn't clog your sink. That's it's never good. Set this off to the side. When it's full, you can either make soap out of it or throw it away. Depends on how many times you watch Fight Club. Now that we've got our uh, bacon and our cheese out of the way, we should, uh, I suppose, beat the eggs and wait for the pasta. You can beat eggs with anything. You can use a fork or a whisk. I don't feel like getting a whisk right now, so I'm going to use the fork. Just beat them up kind of good. This isn't worth 30% of your grade, so you don't worry about it too much. Pops is almost uh, ready to boil. And we'll be cooking. Now that our water is boiling, we want to put in the pasta. This bag of pasta is one pound, so I put in half of it, right? Put in a little bit of salt. I also like to I also like to put in a little basil. That's just me. There's a fun trick to see if uh, pasta is done cooking. You take a strand of it, and then you throw that strand against the wall. If the strand sticks, then the pasta is done cooking. Let's see. Eh, whatever. Done enough for me. First we drain the pasta. Then, while the pasta is still warm, you grab a large salad bowl and you throw the pasta in there. Now, 
course, you want to do this while the pasta is still warm because the warm pasta is what cooks. You take the scrambled egg. You take the beaten eggs. You throw them there. And you take the take the cheese. And you toss it all together. You just stir it all together really quickly, and the egg is going to cook into sort of a sauce with the cheese. So there you have it, spaghetti carbonara. It's quite good, actually.